Bokitov, Chavarim. I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And again, news is breaking everywhere in the world. And it seems to be uh, here in Europe, as well as the Baltic, Syria, and other places there. There is a major standoff between NATO and Russia. And Russia, on RT News, just moments ago came out that, uh, that they will respond to the offensive buildup on its borders. Now, offense is not a defense. Offense means that Russia is concerned that NATO is about to strike their country. That's exactly what it means. And what we're seeing is it is a major information war as well. We're not interested in the information war, but we're interest, interested in getting out a unbiased approach on what's going on here. And we have been seeing that NATO is putting out a lot of false information about Russia in order to get the world to believe their reports and including as we mentioned before they're starting to do censorship inside of Europe to stop people from being able to expose true news that's exactly what's going on let me bring you out this report here that just came out from press TV so you can get an idea of what's happening on the borders of NATO and Russia Russia says NATO's enhancement of military presence on its eastern side will not remain unanswered Russia's permanent representative to the alliance said NATO's activities are clearly aimed at military force projection in the Black Sea and Eastern Europe. Alexander Grushko added that the biggest military buildup along Russia's borders since the Cold War has no anti-terrorism value and is not bolstering European security, rather it's creating additional obvious risks. He also warned of NATO and the United States' active exploration of the Black Sea waters with multifunctional combat platforms which have a serious strike and missile potential. It's just not good, guys, at all. It's not. It's getting worse and worse here all the time. We're seeing it ourselves. Uh, let me take you over here. This here was reported by The Sun, uh, a British uh, newspaper here. Putin's Cold War hot, hot, hot up. I guess I mean heats up. Uh, as Vladimir Putin sends 330,000 troops to the EU border, experts reveal just how much of a threat Russia's president is to Europe. Now, this came out on October the 29th. But guys, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, Russia has continually to have to send troops to the border. And the reason being is because Russia is faced with a constant threat yeah, by NATO. Dakota, police have arrested more than 140 people. That's One second. You know, it is a constant threat here on uh, on Russia's border as well with the steadily buildup of NATO troops. And, of course, they're continually saying that Russia was the one uh, that overthrew Ukraine. But all the evidence has already been exposed that it was not Russia that overthrew Ukraine. This was a coup that was orchestrated by the CIA to topple the Ukrainian government, uh, Yanukovych. Yanukovych was the democratically elected president of Ukraine. Yanukovych invited Russia to come and rescue him from the coup going on in his country. Do you think if it was Russia toppling the country that Yanukovych would have to ask for uh, the Russian Federation to rescue him? It doesn't make sense, guys. I mean, this is pretty much an insane uh, accusation against Russia. But this is what has been used to blame Russia for all the uh, all the problems that are going on in this part of the world. Now they're saying that Russia has become a threat, and of course NATO has been building up the troops on Russia's border for quite some time, including uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, all these regions here, Poland as well, and of course now Russia moved in its own nuclear strike force into Kaliningrad, according to NATO's reports there. Uh, now Russia, I haven't seen anything where they've said that themselves, but Russia has been concerned about the situation and the tensions going on there. Again, when we see such as people like uh, General Wesley Clark and others that have that uh, that have exposed the inside information of NATO's plan to top all the countries over in the Middle East, such as Syria, Iraq, Iran, uh, Libya. Uh, etc. there, which they have successfully done thus far, with the exception of Syria. Syria was another one, a, a democratic uh, government there under P President Bashar al-Assad that they wanted to overthrow as well. I guess because there was too much freedom there. There were too much, they were getting along too well. The Sunnis, the Shiites, and the Christians, and the Kurds, etc. They were able to live in peace there. So they had to overthrow this country as well. But President Vladimir Putin threw a, a, a 
a crushing blow to the New World Order agenda when he stepped in and changed step and no longer wanted to go along with this New World Order agenda and has been trying to expose it and undermine its process ever since. This is why I believe we're seeing all the troops built up against Russia on the NATO's uh, door as well as in the Black Sea and, uh, and even to the east of Russia as well. Uh, we know over there in the China Sea, China's facing a lot of opposition as well. It's only going to come to a head, and I'm afraid that time is drawing rapidly close. And now, suddenly, we have this huge surge of propaganda going on and this huge surge of military movement happening inside of NATO here. Is this because of the leak that's going on uh, with uh, with with? with the Obama administration where there is a quote unquote soft coup going on inside the United States. According to the latest report, even Alex Jones is covering it, but we got the report originally before even Alex Jones reported it. We just didn't report it quick enough. But uh, uh, Steve, uh, let me see if I can find it here real quick for you here. Uh, Steve, uh, pull it up here, right here. It was actually uh, Steve uh, Piz Piznek who uh, reported that they are exposing uh, the Hillary the Hillary operation that's going on, and even saying that Obama is a part of what's happening there, uh, and that they've told Obama to stand down. That they're doing a soft coup. He said it's not a violent coup, but they're trying to. They they were the ones that actually released all the information on Hillary Clinton. It was never Russia, but yet Russia was blamed. Listen to some of what he has to say here. Let me get it up here for you. Also shows the administration was a corruption with gender, race, and religion. The this is a high for President Obama. Co-opting our White House, our judiciary, our CIA, our Federal Bureau of Investigation, our Attorney General Loretta Lynch, and our Director of the FBI, James Comey, for some time now. What they've done is to make sure that they were part and parcel of a group of people who were interrelated through political cronyism. However, in order to stop this coup, we in the intelligence community and others involved have informally gotten together and with their permission, I am beginning to announce that we've initiated a counter coup through Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. What has happened in effect when uh, Comey had to open up the case of Hillary Clinton and discuss the emails that were involved with the Anthony Weiner case. It was not the case itself that was as important as the fact that this was the entree for many of us in the counter coup to say to the administration, we have your number. Not only do we have your number, we're going to stop you from making Hillary the president of the United States. And at the same time, we will have that link for you here in the uh, description here below of this video here. This is just to show you how serious things are getting. Now, the thing is, uh, Steve Pesnik, they have come out. They've released this video here saying that they have uh, created a counter coup, that they were the ones that actually did the leaks of Hillary Clinton's emails. But, you know, it's not over yet, guys. And I can tell you now, with this huge buildup of NATO on Russia's border, a threat of war is imminent more than likely. I don't want to say imminent myself. Let me just put it this way here. It's extremely dangerously close, okay? And it could be that that is to divert this battle going on in America over the power of the United States. Because no doubt there is trying to be a shift in power in the United States in order to avert going into the New World Order as well. And the Obama administration and, of course, the Clintons are definitely pushing the world to a New World Order. They're behind all of this. Uh, or is it the other way around? I don't know which way it is at this point. I mean, I'm very concerned about what's going on. But Putin has gotten involved. He's trying to stop the New World Order on his side. And maybe this is what we're seeing in America through this counter coups that are going on. They're trying to regain control of America after Obama, the Obama administration has further plunged the United States into debt and into this catastrophe that the country is in. So as we're saying right now, there is a major threat of war uh, between NATO and Russia right now and a massive buildup 
uh, on both sides. It's, it's troubling. RT also is, like I said, they're reporting it as well. Um, just to see if we have any, any other changes. Yes, we have a little bit of change on our NATO buildup, offensive capability on the borders of Russia and Belarus. Moscow to respond. Uh, you know, you keep responding back and forth, it's going to go into a war. But that's what they're concerned about is that we're about to go to war with Russia. And I think this is why we're seeing all the draft of the soldiers happening here inside of Europe. Um, but then there is a major unrest in America as well as we are looking at this head on. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.